Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. <laughs> oh, he's actually defended me from getting destroyed by my own nade. Sniper Elite is back. And as someone is an absolutely huge fan of the franchise, I, of course, was so excited when at Gamescom this year, we got the announcement for Sniper Elite Resistance. So before we even go into any of the details, and trust me, there's a lot of background to this, I want to actually go over and analyze the trailer with you guys. So, of course, we are set within the Sniper Elite world, which means that our first shot of any trailer is the longest shot possible of a sniper. This time, make note though, this is not Carl Fairburn, the main character of all the Sniper Elite games. We then get some first person footage of a German soldier in their truck going through into a compound with bombers overhead looking like B-52 Lancasters, whatever they might be. This game is clearly based on the French resistance and this will come up time and time again, sneaking into well various German headquarters as they're planning their missions and we get our first reveal of our character. Once again, not Carl Fairburn, actually a man called Harry Hawker, who has propped up in the Sniper Elite franchise before. Melee kills are back, they're absolutely brutal as ever, and of course the alarm systems being able to zip line in, and what looks to be some bigger battles and set pieces, something that we've rarely or even ever got in Sniper Elite games. Of course, it's always been a focus on stealth, but maybe, just maybe, we might be able to go a different way. Think of it like a Just Cause, where you mostly spend the game on your own, but sometimes there's a set piece with huge battles that you're able to take into account. And of course, the announcement that it's coming in 2025. So, Sniper Elite Resistance, it is on its way. But what do we actually know about it? Well, coming from Rebellion themselves, there's kind of little information, but we can actually delve a little bit deeper. We know that it's coming in 2025 to Game Pass, of course, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and of course your PC games. It'll be coming to PS4 and 5 as well if that's something you're interested in, but it's not actually supposed to be a sequel to Sniper Elite, or at least in the mainland franchise, being Sniper Elite V2, Sniper Elite 3, 4, 5, and of course the zombie versions of the games that I'm sure many, many people have played in the past. This is a standalone story that runs parallel with Sniper Elite 5. Okay, I guess call it a Sniper Elite 5.5, almost a halfway bridge. I think they're wanting to keep the mainline story games with the big numbers, like what would be Sniper Elite 6, kind of to the side for Carl Fairburn's story and, well, what little story there is within the Sniper Elite games, but at least they're separating it somewhat. We are deep within the heart of occupied France. Players will take on the role of this new character, Harry Hawker, an agent of the Special Operations Executive, or the SOE. Intel has revealed powerful and deadly weapons known to the Axis as the Wunderwaffe, the translation to that being the Wonder Weapon. An arsenal of this magnitude could surely turn the tide of the war in their favor. You, as Harry Hawker, will be required to seek out the key Axis targets and work together with the French resistance to destroy the Wunderwaffe once and for all. Of course, all the weapons from the Sniper Elite games will be back trying to recreate what it would have been like to be a stealth sniper within the Second World War with, you know, granted a good amount of artistic license. You can choose your ideal loadouts, whether it's explosives, sniper rifles, SMGs, pistols, the well rod I'm sure will make a triumphant return. That iconic x-ray kill cam will be back with more advanced gun physics. Now, they've not really gone too much into what you'll be getting with that, but we do know there is some first-person shooting and aim downing sight, which is an interesting option if you want to head down that route, of course, with your submachine guns, whether you pick up MP40s or you use Thompsons, of course. Now, because it's a spin-off, I'm assuming that we're not going to get an entirely new game. And what I mean by that, it is going to be a standalone, but in terms of content, I'm sure it might be a little bit lighter than the mainline franchises, especially since, well, it's really not been that long since Sniper Elite 5. It's been, what, two years at most? There's going to be something called propaganda missions, and these are going to be a type of side mission that we've never seen before. Throughout the campaign, you're going to discover unique propaganda posters that allows players to step into the shoes of a French resistance fighter with time-sensitive objectives. Players must sneak, snipe, and shoot, take down enemies under certain conditions to complete their missions. And I think that's what we saw in the trailer, where we saw that huge battlefield of loads of resistance fighters up against, well, the Germans. Not exactly being historically accurate, as the resistance was 
kind of a, an array of smaller groups that was trying to be corralled by the British government rather than an all-out fighting force. But hey, we'll let them off this time if we can get some cool big set piece battles. But it's interesting that throughout the main campaign, you're going to find posters on the walls that are probably going to suck you into more side missions as you take control of these different fighters, having completely different scenarios depending on which, well, poster thus fighter it is. It's kind of a weird but interesting way of trying to bring in different storylines, different characters to be introduced in the future. Now, of course, one of the most iconic gamers will be back, which is Axis Invasion one of my favorite things to be doing enemies that will be popping up in waves and things like that with multiplayer variants as well you can call upon your squad and head onto the battlefield and ready to combat with the online multiplayer modes now there's going to be deathmatch there's going to be no cross or wave-based tactics of survival now i really really do like the survival mode along with being able to ghost inside people's games and try and you know hold them back with access invasion and making sure that you are making them do the most amount of work as possible as you as a counter sniper can try and take them out that's some of the best stuff within sniper elite 5 and i'm glad that it's coming back for resistance now i did mention that this is probably about all the information we have in the game itself but not necessarily on sniper elite resistance it's actually based on what used to be a sniper elite graphic novel coming out in 2018 this was kind of following Carl Fairburns. So yes, we are following a different character, but the graphic novel of the same name is where it came to be. But who is Harry Hawker? Well, he has actually appeared in Sniper Elite before. He's an allied sniper commando in the main story, and you're actually able to play him in co-op modes in Sniper Elite 3, 4, and 5 as the co-op character that plays alongside you. He's seen as the secondary main character within the Sniper Elite franchise and friends with Carl Fairburn being part of the Sniper Elite Resistance comics, as I mentioned before. There is no real hint at what his actual relationship is with our main character, Carl Fairburn, but being an allied sniper, it's nice that we're taking and maybe looking into a completely new version of Sniper Elite, following a new character that doesn't really have much fleshing out at this point in time, so it's interesting to see how they approach it. One thing I would possibly say is Sniper Elite in general has never had, a, well, let's say a really well thought out and very in-depth story. If anybody can actually recite the storyline of the Sniper Elite games, I'll be my guest, but I don't actually think it exists. I think storyline and writing within those games is a myth because the main focus has always been on the mechanics. The sniping mechanics, the x-ray mechanics, the stealth mechanics as well, absolutely fantastic being able to mask shots, which were things that were added in within the later games, and of course being able to have co-op modes as well. I think Sniper Elite Resistance is actually trying to do something slightly different. It's still up in the air why they decided to go for spin-off and not just make Sniper Elite 6, why they decided to let us play as a new character because, well, as mentioned, the story is not really much of an impact on the Sniper Elite franchise, so I don't think people would have cared if they took this route with Carl Fairburn, but hey, they're doing it, and I guess there's a reason. Maybe it's because it's going to be a slightly smaller game than what they would expect with the full Sniper Elite 6, or maybe it's just because Rebellion in general is growing as a company and they're wanting to branch out. They want to make this into a bigger franchise than what it already is and being able to have spin-off. We've already had the zombie versions of the Sniper Elite games, which, you know, didn't perhaps do all that well. So maybe this is their attempt after those games are kind of being put on the back burner at this point in time. For sure, my favorite part of the Sniper Elite franchise is the different ways that you can approach missions. Of course, the preferred way is to try and be stealthy because there's no way that you're going to be able to take everybody out in one single way. But I mean, for example, we've got a tank here that can be exploded. Some would say it's overkill. I would say ideal. However, being able to start in different locations also adds a, another level because it means that we can replay missions kind of as many times as we want. My God, I forgot how beautiful this game is, by the way. It's actually gorgeous. I know it didn't come out that long ago, but <laughs> I think it's just like another level of beauty. Hello. And we can see on the right everything about them. Fancies himself a poet. Likes to gaze meaningfully into the middle distance and sigh a lot. 
which is actually like more useful than you think because it means he's not actually looking this way because he's gaining into the middle distance and we're supposedly long distance at this point in time i was gonna put some different ammo in this gun but i guess not right now i'm being spotted by something now i wouldn't normally play on hard difficulty normally i play on the realistic if i was playing co-op but as i'm on my own and i'm just trying to get back into the game i thought i'd pop it on hard instead so it's not the most ridiculous thing in the world so that's why that icon is still there but you've just heard that haven't you that means you're gonna come around here pop it there now the reason i'm doing that is because look i love to shoot from this place but there's a lot of guards on here and you get spotted super fast. Do we have anyone else? Nope. So he's going to notice. They're all going to hear that. So of course they all know I'm here now. Oh, here they come. And this is where the last stand begins. And this is what I love. You'll hear them come up behind me in a second. Oh, he's going to ring the bell. Yeah, I, I can't get to the, uh, the alarm right now, but I can shoot I'll it. I'll need to deal with that alarm later. Find me if I stay here. They're coming for me, boys. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. I'm in danger of getting out gunned here. Are you actually coming up behind me? I can hear someone speaking behind me. Interesting. You can try and shoot me as much as you want. You're not going to do anything. Oh, it's an officer. Hello, uh, Miss. Just making sure I've got plenty. Where's this one? Hello. Oh, I can't shoot through that. Here he comes. Officer time. Oh, <laughs> brutality of the shot. It's all I've ever wanted, really. Nope. You're going away. Is there any more? Oh, there's still someone shooting at me. Where's oh, you? I want to see if I can get right in the bollocks. Oh, I've incapacitated him. What that is actually going to do is potentially draw somebody out. To come and help him. Oh, God. Here they come. Here they come, boys. And this is where we go into close quarters. Damn it. Out of ammo. Oh god! No! Go on, reload, son! <laughs> reload! <laughs> reload! Oh, I didn't mean to throw that! <laughs> oh! He's actually defended me from getting destroyed by my own nade because the shrapnel's hit. What kind of grenade did I throw? God damn it, man. That was intense. Are we getting between the eye? Or, oh, right in the eye. There goes an explosion. Beautiful. Whoa, he's up. He's up. Nice to see you, son. How are you up without dying? Let's see if we can get some ammo. We've got a mine. Act. Someone take that. Oh, no! No! Come on, revive yourself, lad! That's used up every bandage that I've ever made. Okay. <laughs> I probably should have done this in survival mode rather than the campaign, but hey ho, I'm having fun. Let's see if we can get out of here. Go, 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 go! You can't chase me anymore, boys. You can try, but it ain't going to work. Hello. 
How satisfying is that? Right through the back of the skull. Oh my god, I cannot wait for a new sequel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think the next Sniper Elite is going to be something special. Even if it is just a conjunction between the two, there's got to be some extra additions. And, well, I think this franchise does something that no one else does. And I cannot wait to see where they go with it next. Right, i got to get out of here.